Hello, my name is Sejo Siakho. Welcome back to my channel if you're a returning viewer and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. As you've seen from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my brows. So I'm starting off the video with my brows done because this is how I finished off the video and I didn't want to start my video with no brows. So, yeah. That's where we're at. <laughs> anyway, this brow would be my full face of makeup brow. In the video, I'll be showing you three different styles of brows that I do depending on whether I'm wearing any makeup or if I'm not wearing any makeup. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to show you guys the evolution of my brows. Okay, so you can clearly see that my brows have gone through many different trend phases And I think so many of you have also probably been down the same road as me So I just thought I would show you guys my updated brow routine Which I have been doing for about the last six to eight months and I just actually probably even longer I just love how my brows turn out when I do them this way just because they look so natural no matter how um, defined and bold they are they still look very fluffy and it's not too harsh in my opinion I think you know makeup styles vary for different people and this might be a bit too much for someone else but I like my brows like this for when I have a full face of makeup but you'll also see how I like my brows when I'm not wearing my make when I'm not wearing any makeup so yeah stay tuned and let's get right into it So I've clipped my hair back. Um, sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It's a bit cloudy. As you guys know, I am still in Johannesburg. And so, yeah, I don't have my lights with me and I'm using natural lights. So that's a bit tricky, but we will manage. <laughs> For this first brow, I only use one product. It is the Dior Pump and Brow, and it is in the shade 002. This is my go-to color for my brow. Um, I do have a darker shade that's usually for my full face of makeup, but I'm not gonna feature it in this video just because I don't want you guys leaving here feeling overwhelmed. But this would be my go-to brow for when I am not wearing any foundation or any concealer and I just want to quickly run out the house and look like I have brows. So I go in with my product. I don't have a mirror with me, so I'm using this little compact in my eyeshadow palette. And then I would start off by brushing them out in the opposite direction so that I get some product underneath the hairs as well and that it just doesn't just sit on top. Okay, and then I go on the other side. So once I've brushed them in the opposite direction, as you can see they look crazy, I then go back in, dip my product back into the wand. Well dip the wand back in. And then I brush them up. And this is just going to help shape them and get product on the top of the brow. Okay. So this would pretty much be it for my everyday brow when I'm not wearing any foundation. I think it looks pretty good. Somebody might be happy with their brows just looking like this. But obviously, this video is to kind of just show you the three different brows that I go to and um, for different occasions. And I think everybody has a different bra style. And so hopefully you learn something new. But anyway, yes, this is the first brow. Happy with it. I could leave the house like this, honestly, even with foundation on because my brows are tinted. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you my next brow. Okay, so for the next brow, now that I have prepped it with my brow, my pump and brow from Dior, I am going to go in with another Old Faithful. Honestly, I haven't switched up my brow 
product in <laughs> a year or so. Um, this is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I don't know if this is gonna focus, but I will list all the products down below. I use shade six, and I like shade six, which is the darkest, um, because it is a gray undertone black type of color. I don't like warm colors on my brows. I like them to be more ashy just because I think it looks more realistic. And my brow hairs are actually more black than they are brown. Um, so I just use this very lightly. If you go in with a heavy hand, it will look a bit fake. So you're gonna see now. You're just gonna see now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab my pencil and go in and I'm gonna start at the bottom of my brow to help define that shape. And as you can see, I'm going in with light strokes. I'm not just drawing one harsh long line. So go in to help define the shape. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I usually do my brows before I do my face makeup, but obviously for the purposes of this video, we're doing it the other way around. And then I do little okay, like strokes upwards and I fill in the gaps and then I'm gonna take the brush and just blend so what I also like about the Dior brow gel is that even though I started with it, if I go in with my spoolie to brush it off, it doesn't take any product, uh, product off. It just kind of helps make it look even more fluffy. I don't know. The technology behind this product is actually really good. So you don't want to overfill your brow to the point where it looks very fake. So I literally just keep checking in the mirror and the monitor just to find all the little sparse gaps. As you can see, I don't have a lot of hair at the top here. So to balance it out, I just create my own little brow hairs with the pencil. And remember, your brows are not twins, they're sisters. So they're not always going to look Perfect, but always try to get them to look like sisters and not cousins. <laughs> I definitely stole that joke from someone. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm happy with that. I am gonna clean this up because that looks a bit too harsh, but that's gonna be at the end when I show you my final brow. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through this next brow and yeah, I'll show you when they are done and they look the same. Okay, so this is my second brow and I would usually do this brow when I am just kind of doing a makeup look like this. Everyday makeup, if I'm just going for lunch, not necessarily for the evening because for the evening I do like my brow a little more defined, which is going to be the next brow I show you. But the next step I would do from here is to kind of just clean up underneath and on top. Um, but I'm not doing that now because I'm obviously gonna show you the next brow that I do. Um, but yeah, so this is my second I would say everyday makeup, but don't want to look too done up <laughs> brow. And so yeah, so with my everyday makeup, I would probably do this brow. And I love it because it's so fluffy. There's little gaps in between. It's not too defined. Obviously, like I said, I would still clean up underneath it to get rid of this harsh line. But yeah, so that's my second brow. Let's get into the third one. Okay, so for my third brow, which is the brow I would usually do for a full face of makeup, if I'm going out, if I wanna look a little more done up and more glam, 
um, usually probably in the evening or if I'm going to a day event that I know is gonna last for a couple of hours and I'm gonna need to take photos. This is the bra that I would do just because all these steps then contribute and kind of add to a long lasting, perfect, defined, gorgeous brow. So, I am going to go in with my Dior Backstage Brow Palette in the Dark 002. As you can see, I have really loved <laughs> the wax. Um, I used this on my wedding day, and when I tell you, my brows did not move. So, I'm gonna start off with the darkest color, which is this color. I'm going to dip in my brush. Get the excess powder off. And I'm gonna start at the end of my brow. Actually, let me do it this way so you can see. And I'm gonna go in with small little strokes. So what powder does is that it helps with kind of absorbing the oils in your skin so it's going to keep your brow matte first of all which is what you want you want to have a glossy brow but secondly it adds like a three-dimensional effect to your brow i don't know what it is i'm sure there's a whole reasoning and if you go on someone's makeup channel you will get that information but there's something about adding powder to the pencil to the brow gel that adds to the overall very natural fluffy bushy brow that i like i don't like the super drawn on i would even call it maybe like the instagram brow where it doesn't necessarily look like um hair like strokes it's a lot more defined i think it's beautiful but it's not necessarily the brow i kind of gravitate towards anyway let me i'm, I'm talking so much today in this video but yeah it's probably being locked up for <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, we are doing this for the greater good of the world and I'm such a loner as most of you know, I love my time at home so I'm not actually bothered by being home but maybe because I haven't really talked that's why I'm talking so much in this video so I'm gonna continue going in with those little hair like strokes with the brush and I use, I don't think I mentioned, but I use an angled brush. This is a very affordable one that I think I got at Clicks or something like that. I can't even remember. I've had it for a very long time. And then I stop round about like here. So two thirds away from the front, I go, I stop using the darker shade and I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade. So you have to be very careful with the front part of your um, brow because you don't want it looking too boxy um, and I find that if you add too much product it can look very fake and very boxy so you still want to keep this front part of your brow very fluffy and effortless. So still same technique going upwards just blending it all in. You can see I'm being very light. And then I'm gonna take my spoolie again from my brow pencil and then just blend everything together and brush the brows out just so I can see where there are any gaps that I kind of wanna diffuse a little. There you go, I think I'll add a little more powder. Oh, so pretty. I love a brow that looks natural. I wish I woke up with brows like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to speed you through the next brow. So, let's So with my concealer brush, I am going to take some product off of the little wand and then I am going to dab it into the back of my hand like that. So 
I also forgot to mention that I would usually go in with this concealer and a brighter concealer but because my makeup's already done I don't want to put anything too bright underneath my eyebrows because it could get off, give off that like very bright sharp line so I'm going to go in with a concealer that's closer to my skin tone so with my concealer brush I start erasing any of the harshness from my brow pencil I'm just kind of cleaning up I mean I didn't make any mistakes so there isn't much cleaning up to do I'm just going to blend it with my finger Good, and then I brush up with the concealer brush just a little bit to help further diffuse the front part. You can see what the concealer did, so I'm gonna fix that with the brush. Just go over it again to bring back the color. Ooh, so pretty! So, so pretty. strokes and the reason why my brows take the longest as you can see I'm very patient <laughs> with them and I take my time with them just because I feel like brows frame and shape your face so you know give them the attention they need okay so I think that's pretty clean I don't need to do much cleaning up on the top here because again I don't want it to be so defined that it just looks like a very harsh drawn on brow. I like it looking a little gappy in certain areas. Just looks more natural in my opinion, in my very humble opinion and non-makeup pro opinion. Okay, so going to do the same thing on the other side. Very happy with how my brows turned out, love. Okay, so next product is this Wet and Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. So I absolutely love this brow gel. It is drugstore, but in my opinion, it works better than some high-end clear brow gels. It just sets your brows so nicely without, like, without making them look very jelly and like sticky. So it doesn't leave a shiny, Foam over your brows, it doesn't clump up your brows, um, it doesn't leave them looking shiny as if though you have gel on them. It's just this formula is really good and it's really well money spent. It, there's so much of it, so it's going to last you a while. And I love that you can use it on your lashes and your brows. So I go in with that and I just brush up. And this is a very important step if you want your brows to stay in place and last all day. And I brush them in the direction that I want them to stay in. You just want to make sure you do get the product in between the hairs as well and that it doesn't just sit on top. Because that way it will help them to sit better. So there you have it. This is my final and third brow. This is my go-to full face of makeup brow. I absolutely love it. I love how I'm for this brow gel to sit there. <laughs> I love how this brow is so um, dark and it's kind of just like the focal point of your face. Just because I also don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. This is Pretty much my go-to eyeshadow look, just different variations. Sometimes I add a lot more brown, sometimes I don't add as much. Let me know any products that you use that you think I should try. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like this kind of brow or do you prefer a more prominent brow or do you prefer your brow to be a lot fluffier than this? Um, yeah, let me know. Let's chat in the comments. I love engaging with you guys. I do try and respond to everybody who comments. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want me to do a drugstore version of this video. I would love to do it. I know that I did use one, two, three, 
um, high-end products, but I also used one, two, three drugstore products, one of them being my tool, which was my angled brush. Um, so you can see that you don't necessarily just need to use high-end products to achieve a really great makeup look. I think there are some drugstore brands out there that are doing amazing things in the beauty and skincare space. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see a drugstore version of this video. I am so happy with how my brows turned out um don't forget to like comment and subscribe it is the end of this video i always love it when you guys tune in and like my videos and comment so thank you always for engaging and yeah like i said on my instagram i'm so excited to grow this channel and just kind of make it yeah just a space where we just kind of create and have a good time and i honestly enjoy doing this so much so let me know what other videos you guys would like to see i love you all so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe love and light always goodbye